hello everyone and welcome back to fireman tv welcome back to my channel and i'll urge everyone if this is your first time of visiting the channel then you subscribe to the channel you subscribe to the channel so that you get every video i post on this channel you subscribe and you turn on the post notification button you like you comment then you share so that you get more or the videos when I post them okay thank you so for the sake of some people who doesn't understand the Cree I mean the Ghanaian language then I have to do the videos in English I have to do the videos in English you know my English is not really good so uh, if you don't understand anything you let me know in the comment section then I can explain it furthermore for you to understand okay thank you so today's video is about how to win bet i mean long bet slip how to do a long bet slip yes as i said in my previous video i was going to do analysis on how to do a long bet slip okay so today uh let's let me show you something the strategy i used to to win a bet the strategy I used to win a bet, like let's say, like ten thousand dollars, I used just two cities in the Ghanaian Ghanaian currency, just two cities to win like ten thousand dollars. When you convert it into the Ghanaian uh, currency, that is a lot of money. So let me show you uh, the, the the bet, the bet uh, history or the bet slip. Okay. So, <clears throat> this morning the internet is not really stable. Okay, I think it's around here. Yes, that is it. So, this is the talking about. It's a long slip, and I did it for three days. I did it for three days i started i i choose uh, the bet let's say today is friday so i combined friday saturday and sunday three days friday saturday and sunday i combined those three days and i put them together so in total the money i used to st uh, stick was 2.14 which is two cities, 14 pesos, and the total odds was 9,129.05, which is 9K. When I win, the total bonus was 10,744, and all the money I won was 30,000. And I will tell you some secret. The first match was uh, Darmstadt versus Fortuna Düsseldorf. In that match, I went over 1.3, and I'll tell you why. Sorry, I went over 1.5. I'll tell you why this match I went over 1.5. Okay, Granada. I want us to, us to go through all the matches before I will take it one by one and explain it to you how you can choose over 1.5, over 0 0.5 for a long bet slip. Okay, Granada versus Alaves. I choose 0 0.5. Kasim Pasa, I choose 0 0.5. Uh, Blackburn Rovers, I choose 0 0.5. Accrington Stanley, I choose over 1.5. Uh, Aston Villa, I choose 0 0.5. Uh, Liverpool and Wolves, uh, Wolves Hampton, I choose 0 0.5. Yellow Red McLaren, I choose 1.5. Man U and Crystal Palace, I choose 0 0.5. Lorient and Nantes, I choose 0 0.5. Monaco, I choose 0 0.5. Nice or nice, I choose 0 0.5. Stuttgart, I choose 0 0.5. PSV and Hoven, I choose uh, 1.5. Go ahead, Eagles, 0 0.5. Santa Clara, I choose 0 0.5. Sampdoria, 0 0.5. Spezia, 0 0.5. Bologna, I choose 0 0.5. St. Uh, Tridens, I choose uh, 1.5. Uh, Austin, I choose 1.5. Uh, FK Kinky, I choose 0 0.5. 
Dynamo Moscow 0 0.5 since between 1.5 Hat Hattiespor uh, I choose 0 0.5 Hobro I choose 0 0.5 uh, Patimonens I choose over 1.5 uh, Hidden Hin I, I choose uh, over 0 0.5 Weather Bremen I choose 1.5 uh, Perugia Casio Spa I choose 0 0.5 Dance I choose 1.5 St. Pauli I choose 0 0.5 Fulham I choose uh, 0 0.5 same Zenit Petersburg this one in first half I choose over 1.5 final Rotterdam I choose first half over 1.5 Bayern Leverkusen first half I choose over 1.5 Dortmund first half I choose over 1.5 AC Milan first half I choose over 1.5 Paxi first half I choose over 1.5 Sanhausen over 1.5 uh, Shakhtar Donetsk I choose first half 1.5 and Napoli and Atlanta. I choose first half over 1.5. Now, I'll, I'll tell you how I did this and the strategy I used. So let's count all the games. So when you count from Napoli, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42 matches. All was green, green. Now, why I choose Darmstadt? Darmstadt over 1.5. Darmstadt is in the German second Bundesliga and they play a lot of goals. They played a lot of goals. They played a lot of goals. So that is one secret. Why I choose uh, Darmstadt over 1.5. And there's some, this application, I downloaded it from Play Store. It, it is a very good application for uh, football analysis, football uh, statistics. So I use that application to do some of my uh, strategy and analysis. So let me go to Play Store and I will show you uh, the application. Then I will continue. Let's go to Play Store. Okay. Play Store. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> So when you go to Play Store, download over time, over time score prediction. Okay, she is there. Over time score prediction. This is the match. Sorry, this is the app. This is the app. This one. Okay, over time score. Pre you see, I have already uh, downloaded on my. Uh, my phone i have already downloaded off on my phone so i will not download it again and this one you see it's a very good app but a lot of people don't know about it so you see a lot of not so many people has downloaded only 10k only 10k downloads yes it's a very good app but not a lot of people know knows about it so now i'll just click on open Okay, so we're waiting for the app to display. Okay, that's it. You see, let me show you something. We have uh, the Serbia match, Napredak versus uh, Metalak. Just click on that. Uh, okay, come here. Goals, when you go to goals, they, they gave, according to their analysis, for goals, let's say over 2.5. Is 67 percent which is not guaranteed and away win is 54 but both team to score yes and it's 100 percent so this one i will stay away from it let me show you something now you can change the date you click on this three dots okay let me go to yesterday matches okay come here Let's see which one is having 100%. Uh, okay, this one. 
PSV and Hogan and Wild Wild Wick. Wild Wick or something. We see this one. PSV and Hoven home. Home win is 91% and goes over. Goes over is uh 100% and both team to score is 100 percent So this analysis it is telling uh, sorry, it it is telling you that according to them, goals will come in the match and both team will score in the match. So for a safety, for a safety win, don't be greedy. Or lie. I tell you this. <laughs> I tell you this. In football, you don't have to be greedy. You don't have to be greedy. So if you see something like this, just go and pick over 0 0.5 or over 1.5. You know, PSV and Hoven is a very big team in Netherlands, which they play a lot of goals. So just go over 1.5 because goals is 100%. And both teams to score is 100%. So that means one of them would click. One of them would happen. If both teams will not score, goals will come. If goals did not come, both teams will score. So just pick one of them. If goals come, it will be over. So it will be 1.5. And if both teams will score, it will be over. So it will be 1.5. That's the secret. Now let's go to another one and see if we can get. Okay, now come here. Let's see Levante and Barcelona uh, match. You see, away win is ninety one percent, which is Barcelona will win, and the percentage is ninety one percent. But for me, win win, I don't do it win win stuff. Goals 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 is over, uh, sorry, over goals is uh, hundred percent. Goals over two point five is hundred percent, and both teams to score is 100%. That means this one, at least one of them will happen. One of them will happen. So we just choose one of them. Either we go both teams score or you go overs. So don't be greedy and just go with over 1.5. Over 1.5. And when you go to the, this match, when you go and check, it was 100%. It was 100%. Let's see. Levant. And Barcelona match, which was played on the tenth of, I uh, think, uh, April, just yesterday. Okay, Levante and Barcelona. Okay, now let's come here. And you see, it was the same thing as the app predicted. First half was zero zero, but in second half they played two three. 2-3 and away win it was just by luck you see in the short time they scored and it was uh 2-3 so it happened so now let's go to different one let's see this match Fenerbahce and Galatasaray Fenerbahce and Galatasaray they gave Fenerbahce home win 85 percent for that one me i don't do win so i didn't go there so Goals is hundred percent. Both team to score is hundred percent. This one, don't be greedy. Just go with overs. Just go with overs. Then you are done. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Fenerbahce and Galatasaray match. Fenerbahce and Galatasaray match. Let's go and see. So, as you can see from here. Fenerbahce, you see. Fenerbahce and Galatasaray match. Home win and it was only two nil. Home win and it was only two. So let's assume you went both team to score, you will lose. But over one point five, what will happen? So when you see something like that, just go with over one point five. Just go with over one point five. Okay, that's the strategy I've learned from that. And let me show you something. You see this kind of match uh, from Netherlands RDVC. As the Zoli and AZ Al Kamara. You see, for them, they gave uh, they gave goals seventy eight percent. Away win was eighty eight percent, and both team to score was ninety percent. So for this one, for me, when I, 
if I were to choose, I would choose in full time 0 0.5. In full time, when the percentage are less than 100, the goals percentage are less than 100, and the both team to score percentage are less than 100, just go with over 0 0.5. That's where sometimes I choose over 0 0.5, and sometimes I choose over uh, 1. Point five. So that's how I do. Okay. So that's how it is. Now let's go back to the slip. And let me show you something. Okay. Okay. Now let's continue with this one. So you see, whenever I choose over one point five, that means in the app I did an analysis and it was both team to score for. It was like hundred percent and goes was was 100 so if, that's why down start i choose 1.5 granada 0 0.5 so that's how it is and when you come to uh over here you will see in the first half it was all of them like over 1.5 all of them over 1.5 you see the strategy i i taught in my previous video like how to choose first half over 0 0.5 it was the same strategy i used to choose first half over 1.5 the same strategy but in that uh, situation in that situation i make sure the analysis the strategy i did like the analysis is like 100 percent the analysis was 100 percent you see there are some uh, analysis you do and you see like they haven't even started playing the match but you you see this one or something would tell you this one is 100 percent so it was in first half 0 0.5 goes 100 percent but according to my analysis i have to choose it in first half over 1.5 that's how i did it so when you went to zenith st petersburg when you look at the analysis for first half go in my previous videos you now when you look at that one it is in first half over 0 0.5 but i have to risk it and go for over 1.5 in first half that's how i did it so in all of the teams i choose for first half uh, 1.5 everything was like click everything was click so let's see dortmund and Bayern munich match you see, Dortmund is a team that plays a lot of goals, and Bayern Munich is a team that plays a lot of goals. So when these two teams are playing, when these two teams are playing, definitely there will be goals. Definitely there will be goals. That's that's one strategy. And when you look at Paxin and Budapest, that's a Hungary a team from Hungary. They the Paxi, most of their teams, Paxi, FC Paxi, most of their teams. Oh, sorry, most of their matches they played, they always played goals over 2.5. Over 2.5, it's like 80 percent, 80 percent that they play over 2.5 in most of their games. Yes, so that's why I choose in first half, uh, over, over 1.5. And Napoli versus Atlanta. Atlanta play goals and Napoli also play goals. So that's why this match I choose over 1.5. So that's how I did it. But so let's 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 look at something here. So let, let's look at yesterday's match. You see, this match between uh, Man City and Liverpool. So in first half they play they play, I think, over 2.5. Yes, Man City and Liverpool. In first half, they played over 2.5. Why? Because Man City, they play goals. And Liverpool, too, they play goals. Man City is, I think, when you look at their standings or they are, they are on the table, when you look at their table, geez, this network. Okay. Man City is at the first. Liverpool is at the second. So, they are, everybody serious. So, definitely, there will be a goals. In this match and in first half there will be a goal so that's how it is when two top teams like they are on the table like let's say one is first one is second two serious top teams definitely there will be a goal in the first half that's how it is so that's why i choose Dortmund and Bayern Munich first half 0 0.5 and it was like 100 percent yes but one thing let me tell you about how like 
about about the long long bed sleep. You see, this bed as soon as I did I did it you now. The last the last match was I think uh yellow red McLaren. Yellow red McLaren which was played on the I think fifth of December twenty twenty one last year just this last year fifth of december 2021 red yellow mclaren versus krc genk and the time they played the match was 8 p.m which is 20 20 oh oh on the uh greenish uh meridian or something so it was 8 p.m in ghana time so this was the last match they played so when I do cash out, when I do cash out, they will give me, I think, 6,000. But in all, it was 30,000. But when I do cash out, they will give me 6,000. But this particular match, I was having faith in it, according to analysis I did. So, you know how, what, uh, what happened? In first half, sorry, in first half, in first half, let me, let me show you something. Last year. December on the fifth, and let's let's go and see the match. Okay, this is the match. McLaren, <laughs> McLaren versus KRC Genk. In first half, there was one goal, and in second half, there was another goal. I choose a one point five, and it was hundred percent. Now look at something. I'm telling you something about sporty bet. I'm telling you something about sporty bet, and I'm telling you this from uh, I don't know how, I don't know how to say it, like from experience. Okay, so that next time if something happens to you like that, you know how to do your things. Okay, on the long bet slip. You see, McLaren versus Genk. That was the last game, and one one uh, one goal came in the first half. One goal came in the first half. So I was waiting for just one single goal to win the bet. And you see something about sporty bet. You know, something speaks to me. Like I have, I have to do screen recording of all the matches. So I opened the match like this. So I started doing screen recording. I took my time doing screen recording one after the other, just like it. Now I'll be scrolling down the games like this. You see, say, so when it get to the end, then I will stop. Then I will save it on my phone. Now you see something. As soon as the first goal came, I was waiting. So in the second half, when the second half starts, as soon as the second goal came, no, then sporty people they deleted the the bet slip from my account. When you go like, let's assume you have won a bet. When you win a bet, it will be go it will go to the uh, bet history or to be moved to the bet history then they will tell you whether you win or you lost so as soon as the goal came now less than one minute the bet slip disappeared and when i go to my history there's no bet history saying win or lose nothing so in that night i didn't know what to do i was very frustrated and it was around 10 p.m i didn't know I, who are you going to tell this thing to and these people, they don't operate like they don't have any work in office. Like, I like you can go there and talk to them or something. They operate online. They operate online. So how even are you going to talk to them? When you call them, you don't. They don't answer. When you try to talk to their agent online, you see it will be very difficult, and you'll be asking you questions. And I was even afraid, like if they know how much you have won, they will try to. I don't know. So I was very, very frustrated. And I I I use some I use some way I use some way I use some strategy I use some some way which I don't want to tell it publicly because if one of them sees the strategy I use, you see, it's not good to be public so that they will be aware of that. The strategy I use, if one of one of their workers sees something like this, you see. They, they, it, it will draw them attention. Yes. So I don't want to say the strategy, but if you want to know the strategy, later on you contact me 
privately then i'll tell you so that you will be aware of that so when you do whenever you do a bed slip like a long bed slip like this one and when you started notify that the game or the bet is going to win or something just do screen recording just do screen recording and as soon as i do my uh, strategy you know and i do my uh like I, I find some way for them to pay me you no know, then less than 15 minutes you see so i was fed up i put the phone there and i started trying to sleep so less than 15 minutes i just pick up my phone and i was going to check to see if they have paid the money as soon as i open the bet accounts on spotty bet no i open then they write congratulations this this year for one thirty thousand. what Oh God, that night I couldn't sleep. I was very happy. I was very, 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 very happy. You see, so that's how it is. So, so now, uh, okay, so now that's what I will tell you about this. And later on, you see, they paid me. They paid me. And that's all I'll tell you about. Yes, so... After that, they called me to, they, they say they want to post my winnings online and it will motivate other people to, 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 to engage in betting or something. I didn't even mind them. Then they started calling me, so I changed my line and that's it. So that's how to choose the long bet slip. So if you follow the strategy, if you follow the strategy I've just told you, then you will want something. So when you go to the app like this, the overtime app like this, you just check. When the goal is 100%, both teams to score is 100%, then you can choose over 0 0.5. But if over 0 0.5, it doesn't work. Let's say uh, this Zol match versus AZ Alkama match, let's say over 0 0.5 is just one Peswa. Or let's say 0 0.5 is uh, 1.01 so it doesn't work so just check on over 1.5 and in checking of over 1.5 go to sofa score sofa score and, and look at that same particular match that same particular match which is the pet zo pet zo uh, sorry pet yeah pet zo versus akamar go to sofa score and check that particular match the pet zoo versus uh Akama, and look at their five previous matches they played their last five matches if it was overs if it was overs then you can go for over 1.5 if the 0 0.5 doesn't work then you can go for over 1.5 so that's how i did it so I will tell you one thing, one thing about betting. You see, you don't have to be very greedy. Sometimes you you do a bet, and when you lose, don't lose hope. When you do a bet and you lose, don't lose hope. I tell you, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. One day, one day it will happen. And after this bet, I win. The, f the following week, the following week, I have like three accounts. The following order, I used the other account because what they did to me on this account, I was afraid. So I create another account with different SIM card or different number. And that one too, the following week, I won 70,000. But it was different two accounts. So the money was, was not like in bulk. So uh, some of them will come uh, with this account and some of them will come from this account that's how it is so whatever you are doing don't don't lose hope you see there there's a lot of people saying uh bet bet you can you cannot do anything with bet no if that is your mind then it will continue like that for you now you see this this thing is, is public so i cannot tell you everything you see if I tell you because of betting, what what I don't know how to say it. Uh, if I tell you uh, things that betting has brought me or something, 
you will not believe it but this is public so i can't just display it like that so i'll say it whatever you are doing just just keep on doing keep on trying keep on trying there's some people when they do and they they lose then they relax they lose hope yes that's how it is so just keep on doing it will be just one day and everything will be on your side that's how it is but one thing i'll tell you is that don't don't bet with a scared money don't bet with a scared money don't bet with a scared money don't borrow money from someone to do a bet you see i've been reading some comments on uh, sofa score when a lot of people like when a, a particular match is going on and the, the the match didn't go in favor of their their bet like how they choose let's say a home win or something and the bet didn't go in their way like that you see there will be, a lot of people will be commenting oh gee this is my rent money this, this is my my wife's money this is my school fees this is no why are you using your school fees to do a bet why are you using your rent money to do a bet no it doesn't make sense don't do that don't do that don't don't trade with a scared money yes and don't risk money which is like more enough you see i don't know how to say it but don't put a precious money like you only invest with money that you can lose you see so only invest with money that you can lose that's what i will tell you now okay so if you respect that if you respect that then you win for a long bed slip so please if you don't understand anything if you don't understand anything just let me know then i will tell you if you don't understand anything just let me know write it in the comment section i'll tell you and i'll explain it to you whether you like it in english or in Queen. i'll tell you then i'll help you to understand on how to do the long bed slip okay i'll end here and i'll continue next time okay peace bye bye